Welcome, I'm Shanti. Welcome to the world of aromatherapy. I remember when I opened the doors to aromatherapy, it was like all these gems. Uh, and a gem is multifaceted. It's really, there's so many qualities to aroma oils, the essential oils. So today I would just like to give you the 101 on simple, effective methods to use. First of all, very simple, you can just sniff, smell. Um, the aroma oils, whether it's lavender, orange, you can smell it. It goes right in and you can get the benefits that way. Or you can use a diffuser. Now you plug that in and that will diffuse the whole, the whole room. Um, and you can use that just um, with orange, children like that, or eucalyptus, if anyone's got a stuffiness about them. So um, that's a really good. Way to use aroma oils and also you can use it in a bath wait till you've run the bath and then pour the aroma oils in and always use a natural bubble bath or dr brahma's soap because the aroma oils will sit on the top of the bath so you mix it all around and if you put them in while you're running it it'll all evaporate and that's a very relaxing way um, to to use aroma oils or you can use like a compress, just get some gauze, some gauze um, cloth, soak it, put the aroma oils on, like if it's a cut, I would use tea tree oil or bruising, helichrysum, put that on and then just let it sit for um, you know like 20 minutes. And that's really good at drawing things out too. Or you can use a tent, where you just, you get a bowl of water, you put eucalyptus in if you've got you know sinuses or congestion. You put the tent over and you inhale all the aroma oils. It's very effective. You can use any of the aroma oils um, like peppermint or rosemary, the ones that have menthol in them. So, and then very simple other ways um, you can um, just simply spray. You know, put some aroma oils in some water and spray the rooms. I use a special one. For meditation, frankincense, um, emmy, and sandalwood, and that really helps to uh, go within. Or you can just use it as a bathroom um, diffuser. Usually, I use like citruses, the limes, or the lemons, just to uplift the bathroom. So those are very simple ways to use aroma oils, and I like to use them all around. In the kitchen, I always put tea tree oil, about five drops of tea tree, tea tree oil in my dish <clears throat> soap. Then, you know, because all the aroma oils are antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiseptic. So you're really giving, uh, you know, extra to the um, dish soap. Or when I'm vacuuming, I always put lavender in. Instead of smelling that horrible dust, you're going, oh, lavender. Or you know, or you can use fern needle. I like it because I use fern needle in my car. When you're in cities, then it just smells like you're in the forest. I love fern needle in the car. So just really simple ways to just start using the oils. And I must say, <clears throat> when you use the aroma oils, I use Elizabeth Van Buren only because of the purity. If you're using it therapeutic, you cannot have adulterated oils. And really, in the market, the amount of adulterated oils is really quite high. So I use Elizabeth M. Buren because it's GSMS, it's grass mint. They, 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 um, <clears throat> they test every single batch, every single batch. And they can tell whether it's got fillers, it's low grade, or it's been uh, adulterated with synthetics. So it really is um, essential to use pure natural products. So, and then just get aromatherapy books. And after you read, you know, a couple on lavender, it starts to get its own personality, okay? You know it's gonna be very calming. It's great for burns. You know um, it's very uplifting. You know, so they, they all start to get a personality. And then, just by the way you're using, you have to know the safety as well. I mean, it's a science, but it's intuition as well. Like you wouldn't want to put um, cinnamon, it's very caustic, it'll leave a red mark. So you do have to know a little bit how you're mixing. Um, and then, you know, as the weeks come, we can go over that too. But um, I just really want to inspire you just so that you can just buy a few and start using them in your home. 
Because really then you can take your health into your own care and of your family. Because they're really, they're very small, they don't take up much room, they're inexpensive as opposed to using hospitals, um, and they're really effective. I mean, there's not too many things that really work on the body, mind, and spirit. We're working more on the physical today, but um, we'll go into uh, more elaborations as the weeks go on. So thank you. I hope you use them. All right.